Hi, uh, I would like you to tell why, why you should develop on Truang, or at least why I'm developing on Truang. And the first of all, if you, I want to say that I'm not a teacher, I'm only trying to explain my personal experience, opinion, so feel free to listen to hear, or to believe me, or to not believe, or to feel free to do whatever you do. It's my opinion, and I think you should do the same. But no, it's, I'm not a teacher, so not Jesus Christ, not, not something else. You can learn from your things. So what does Trung mean? Uh, Trung is the, the, lat, the latest version of Triton, and it used to develop on it. So if you want to develop on Triton in your custom models, I think you should use the development version. But what's the problem with the development version? Or how you can obtain this? So it's, it's easy. You clone. Imagine you clone the repositories, obtain the sources, just use the default branch. Or you can install the Python packages if you use the development link, the 3 dev pi, which it uses for testing. So you can also use it to install the PyPy package in case you don't know. And how it's run? Oh. I think that most people think that run is the cookie monster. It will add you. So I uh, don't think who, who, who thinks that Trang is ugly? Somebody in, this, in, the, in the room? No? So that's how I think it's Trang. <laughs> so it's, it's beautiful because, because it's the next, the next Triton race. So if you like Triton and you like the photo of Triton, you will like Trang because you, you had an advancement of what you will have in the future. Always nice to be in a time machine. It's stable. Not every day, but usually it's stable. And it's constantly evolving. So if you follow Trunk, you will be also evolving with new features that you, your models can benefit. And there is some time, this is the feature freeze that I believe is the next week. Or the, no, no, not sure it's the next or the other. Two weeks, where Trunk freezes and then becomes the new release. And we are all committed to test it before the release so we don't have bugs in the release. Yes? And here are some tips in, in how to update. So it's a good update. Usually we use Rubase. And if you install it, from PyPy, you can also upgrade when you want. That's the important thing. You upgrade when you want. Just a good reminder how we develop on Trunk, if you don't remember. First, we discuss in, in, in the discuss server. Then we make code review, a patch proposal, and we it's review it. Then it's tested. Then it's the failure for freeze. Then it's blow up to PyPy, it's the release. And then we have no IP changes. So in the development process, you have IP changes and you have to adapt your model. But if you follow all the process, you could benefit from discussion before coding anything else. So not only in Trunk, yes, on, uh, on your models too. And we can review other people's models. If you like to suppose, not you don't have to propose it for including in trunk. You can always have feedback from other people, and that's the the teacher part why you should use trunk. More discussions. We can only improve the the Triton clients, the SAO client, and the the Critica client. You must modify the trunk version because the the released versions cannot be modified. If you will have to some change that improve the API, to especially for performance, you have to modify it in Trunk. And if you use Trunk, you get new features that will be able, available in the next release. You get now, and you can use these features in your models. And you have better color because you must follow the review to get 
uh, some knowledge about which will be the new uh, new changes. So your code also improves, and that's a, a thing that will benefit all the community. The more people that use Strang, the less bugs we will have because there are more testers, and the the fastest you test and you find the bug, the ACI is to to fix it. And if you follow Strang, you don't have to migrate your models to new versions because in every API change, you have migrated it. So it's not a full step of migrating all the code. It's step by step. And you can also block the models to PyPy when the Triton release is, is on in the same time. So we have the release of the official models and a lot more models that will make more visibility of your models. And one of the things that scares me is the technical debt. So this is the Cocky Monster another time, but this is the real Cocky Monster. You know all what's the technical debt here? Who knows what's the technical debt? So not all. <laughs> it's his explanation. Basically, is the work that you have to do to upgrade your coding, but you don't do now because you don't have time. So you dab it to the photo that you will do, but usually you never do it. So you, your code goes outdated. It's, it's that. So what most people say about technical debt? Not today. <laughs> We always have time to fix it, but the funny thing is, if you don't have time to fix it now, how you will have time to fix it in the future? So how to fix technical debt? I advise you will have more work. So you have more work every in, in the day today, but at the end, it will be, it's work. I think it's not doing a big step at the end, so only doing small steps every day. That's the, the easiest part to, to combat the technical debt. And now it comes the red bud. Yes, we are persons, we are not perfect. And this is U2P, no? We, we have some problems. Some of them, wow, Trunk broke my model. Yes, Trunk changes, so it breaks things, but the, the, the first thing is you will have to fix it also. In the next release, when you break the model, it will be broken, so you have to fix. In the future, why not fix it today? Uh, but today I have a demo, and I cannot fix my code, yes, but as I told in the start, you can update when you want, so if you have a demo, please don't update your environment, make sure it works, and when the demo's finished, you can upgrade, or in the weekend, or whenever you want, or in the beach if you want, no problem. And the, 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 the fact is that when you have to fix one change, you will have less work, and you will re uh, review your models and see, well, it's only affected by six, five models, modules, but when you have to review all the changes, Probably it will affect all your models. So it's, it's just here with less changes. And that also bring you new features that don't break your model. But as you will follow Trang, and you will have to notice what, you, what is breaking your models, you will realize that you have new features that you might not notice, but you can use it. For example, I'm using in my models the counting, the count feature that Cedric explained yesterday. It's not the, it's not released, but have custom models that use this feature because I'm a trunk. Otherwise, you cannot implement it till the migration. But in the migration, you have a lot of work. So normally, don't do the the things that are not mandatory, and you do what's only required. And a good type to follow the development is 
There's the Triton Comet mailing list or the Triton Comet Earth channel. It, in the Earth channel, you got uh, a message for comet or for user comment, so you can follow all the discussions before the, the, the comet. And in the mailing list, you got one mail with the patch of the changes, so you can review and say, wow, this will break my model. I want to update today. We'll break the next week when I have time. So it's, it's easy to, to follow if you f see it, use the Triton Comet mailing list of your ERC channel. And great bat, oh, production environment is in version 3.0, 2.2, 1 1.0. That's a problem. I'm developing in Frank. So new Fiat truths can go to the production environment. It makes no sense to pass it. Yes, but you will have to migrate your production environment in the future. So why not using always this, the lightest stable version? So it's easier to backport changes because you might use branches. And in these branches, backport your changes. It's up to you. You can use your own repositories if you want. But the idea is to follow trunk and these changes, if they are useful, you can go back to the production environment. In fact, there is some people that doing this kind of things, I believe. OK, why? I don't understand why you have ports. And uh, as the Triton has a policy to don't develop new features on, on, on older versions, you might adopt with your customers the, the, the same policy to say, at the end, at the start of the contract, we want to pass new features on all the versions. So if you want new features, you will have to move forward to new versions. That's to talk with your customer and say, "Am I accept or no? I don't know. And finally, this is the, the one I like more is put whatever you want here, but it's all excuses. So if you don't do this because you don't have time or you, you want, or it seems that's too hard, but when you realize and you don't it, it's not too hard. And some conclusions. If you use the trunk version, you could win new Fiat tools uh, before they get released. Well, I also win because you are testing my code, so you will find my books. So if you win and I win, we all win. <laughs> so please, let's win together. <laughs> and just the uh, last note, I want to help. So as usual, I want to help. You have my contact data here, and you have some doubt how to follow Trang on it's on how to, to if your some change might break the model. Let's discuss. I'm open to us. So you can contact by mail, Twitter, you just say, just talk here, whatever you want. So it's up to you and I I will be happy if you follow my advice and don't be scared by the the cookie monster that's called Trang. And if you have some questions. So questions? All true. We followed Trunk uh, from version 1.0 version 1. 1. 1. to uh, 1.8. After this, uh, there come uh, many big changes uh, in the API um, and the functionality. Uh, there we make the first uh, uh, decision. We don't use uh, 2.0 because uh, it was already no, nothing good for us. Then we catch up uh, at uh, two by two, but uh, totally leave uh, our uh, uh, leave uh, the trunk at uh, I think it was uh, two point four. Yeah, two point four. After this, they came two big uh, changes: two point six, two point eight. A lot of API changed. Uh, we actually have uh, 90 or 100 modules uh, in, in our environment, uh, not, not small modules, it's a lot of depth, you told. Um, the problem is just a problem um, of a business model. We don't know how to sell uh, migrations. That's, that's a pity. Yes. 
the customer will will uh, tell us, yeah, you, I want uh, this functionality, this, and you will deliver a solution, not a product, nothing, a solution. It is on one version, and then um, the customer say, I want to function new functionality. Can we have uh, notes on every uh, party or something like this? And you say, yeah, and six <laughs> versions later, we have it uh, in Triton. It's very good. And uh, take a look. How much does it cost? Well, around about 30,000 euro. <laughs> because you have to migrate uh, all your many models uh, up to, uh, to this version. It's, we are searching for a solution, but we don't know how. Actually, maybe, um, but maybe another one has an idea. Someone has an idea. <laughs> How do you do? Well, we we just have a fixed uh, amount each month in which we migrate to new versions to customers. License fee. Hmm? License fee. No, it's not a license. A service fee. It's a, it's you, a service you, fix, fee. you fix bugs and you move to new versions. It's a service fee. Yeah. Maybe other IDs? I don't know. Well, typically we are back to the business track. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the question is to anticipate, and uh, in my opinion, uh, if, you, if you start a project with a new customer without telling him how free software works and which level you have to fund uh, over all the uh, project activity, uh, you are stuck at the, at the end, and your customer is, uh, is in, the, in trouble with you. Uh, you cannot you cannot just deliver a solution if you do not anticipate that this solution will have to 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 keep live for for years um, and to uh, to warn the customer that free software is not uh, free of cost uh, even if it is not the part that you develop this is why I try to to make some differences between the different levels of what uh, uh, a solution is made of and to uh, either you, you, you get the agreement from the customer that uh, he has to fund all the levels he depends on, or you take it for you because your customer is not aware of these details and so on, but in your price you have to, uh, to add uh, typically what Albert uh, says, else uh, you will make a point project which is, uh, which is correct for many applications but not uh, Long life uh, ERP system. Uh, our customers usually, when they are interested uh, that it is open source software we use, um, they use it especially before because it is open source software. We have two different kind of customers. Some some guys are not interested what what it is. They just want to have uh, some special stuff, and the other ones exactly know they want open source because uh, they invest in their company with uh, the software. It is not uh, some cost or something like this. It is a direct investment in the in the own company in the infrastructure. It is like. Um, Building, uh, creating a building, uh, buying a machine, uh, you, you own it, you have it, you can uh, change it, it is yours. And especially for this they come uh, for open source software, so um, I usually don't need to explain it. Uh, the problem is, uh, on the other hand, uh, the persons uh, who use the open source software and want it, um, they uh, exactly know that they don't need to migrate anything. They know when uh, there is a solution delivered, it will run for years. It will run even uh, if they are all dead. It doesn't change. It is no uh, restriction inside the software which, which uh, require that you need to buy something that it run further. Uh, we, we have uh, one customer, uh, she's on version 1.4, uh, she's an old lady and uh, she's, uh, she like it. It's, we can't change it because uh, she don't want to learn uh, 
to, to use the user interface. Uh, she used it uh, since 2009. Triton uh, 1.4, so um, if there is no requirement. It, wh why, why change? Yeah, yeah exactly. If, if, if it's likes, broken, yes, don't fix it. But I think it's, that the, the problem is, uh, but we, if we like to come forward with the, with the modular development, we need to move our modules up. And uh, the problem for us is uh, we must invest our time uh, to get them up. If there is no customer who say, okay, I want this functionality on this version, and uh, I pay for the migration, that's uh, that's a really problem. But uh, Albert told uh, us uh, that uh, he just takes some uh, kind of um, migration fees or service fees. Uh, how do you calculate uh, calculate uh, the fees for a module or for a set of module or for a uh, solution? Is it uh, the lines of code and complexity or something like this? And then you make a number and then uh, you say, oh, this module is uh, 600 per year, this 40, this 12. Um, yes, more or less. Um, we just put a fixed price uh, per, uh, per module. Uh, and of course, in some modules, you will have more work. Uh, and some others, you will have less work. But it's up to you to more or less have uh, realistic numbers, which says. I have a partial solution. It's write more test for your modules it, it will it, ah. <laughs> so if you write more tests and you test correctly uh, your modules it will be easier to migrate so it reduce the cost and the second point is make it a triton module and you will have migration for, for free, free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's what we do in fact Albert, uh, and your uh, customer uh, paid for uh, testing the new version of the module on the new environment. The um, customer uh, make the time, uh, no, take the time to test it. The, the new version. Oh, you have a good customer. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, <laughs> yes, tests, and uh, of course, there are we all kind of customers. But um, my guess is that if your customers don't see a value on moving to newer versions, maybe it's not a customer for you. I mean, they have lots of applications that uh, don't move to new up, uh, new versions, so you're not competitive. You are much more competitive uh, uh, with customers that see the value of moving to new versions. You just need to make them understand if they don't, and if you cannot manage to make them understand it, it's not a customer for you. We've, we had a customer in which we explained the, the moving to newer versions, and they said, um, in fact, we intend to sell our company in one or two years, and we don't mind moving to new versions. And we said, okay, don't keep with Open ERP, which is the uh, alternative they were moving. Um, it just you need to choose uh, your customers. So. Um, I have a, a question more about following trunk, uh, rather than how to make customers update from an uh, older older version. It's um, for now uh, we at Copengo we we're developing on the latest table uh, version of mm -hmm. Triton D. Uh, so we're not using a lot of uh, business modules, mainly uh, accounting, basic accounting in parties. So uh, when we're upgrading, it's more to follow the new development in the Triton D server and framework. Um, but for some time we worked, we followed trend. We updated our Triton D uh, fork uh, every two weeks or things like that. But the problem is that as soon as uh, we, we couldn't say to our client, okay, so now uh, we, we've made some developments and uh, we're going to wait for the official release of the server to, to deliver uh, in your production environment. So we, we, have to, we had to, um, 
we had to, to deploy in production with uh, an Triton. unstable Triton version. And really, it's complicated because uh, you have to, to take to, to track the fact that uh, for this uh, for this client, you have uh, you run this commit on the server, you run this commit in your modules because you're not on a uh, fixed release. And h how do you manage it? If Basically, you have to have the branch. Yeah, the, the you branches. develop on plan, and if the client asks, I want this in production now, it's an extra effort to backport that to the stable, and if you have test, they should be tested with develop unless it's stable, you can test with several branches. So it's, it's not the migrating at the end, speaking from the future to the last stable. And usually, you will end up modifi modifying less code because the release is not yet finished and not contain all the features which contain in the next release version. And usually you have some times when, as we have fixed release, the six months, from there, I, you can say to the customer, let's wait one month or less. So we are in feature freeze and we can start pushing to production which is not yet released. So at least in staging, so you're testing before. Well, I don't know if it answers the question or it's, it's, it's the idea. We, we had, we explored, we tried, and well, it's, it, I, I don't think it's, uh, it always work. I, I think maybe with some customer that might work, mm -hmm. but uh, I mean, uh, when we develop, it's complicated to have both. Um, already we have some customer, we are on older version, we want to backport features, and it's, it's already complicated, expensive, and everything. So if we have uh, above it, we have to develop on Triton D-Trunk, then on our latest stable release. And, um, it's, it takes really a lot of time, so. Uh, but, but I think that you should, your customers in the older version, to fight the penalty in price, maybe, or in time, or to be, to, that they are giving you more work to do, so they will fight for it. But what I understand. We could make more release. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> and one last thing, if you are interested in testing, I have here the slides of some talk I got in the Spanish conference here in May about testing. And if you think it's interesting, I can explain it another time. Or you can ask tomorrow or whenever you want. It's a note. Sorry, I, I just have another. Uh, it's not. I'm, I'm not sure if it's uh, if it exists or not, but I was wondering. Uh, we, we already have some. Um, sometimes I wanted to test something on trunk and. Uh, I was wondering if, if there is a demo server on Trunk that I never saw. No, no I, I think maybe it would be, I, I mean, for the testing parts, you know, when you have, uh, you're committing a new feature or things like this, or even, for instance, in, um, uh, Cedric developed a new client uh, with six freeze and everything, and I wanted to test it, but I didn't have a, a, a server yeah. on, on the Trunk, and I think maybe it, could be a, an idea to have a, a demo server which is running on trunk. Uh, what it works for me is I usually have two environments. One is only the core model, the client, and w that's the first step to test because you don't have to change anything in your code. And then other development branch, which is the same core models with plus all models. So you can give a test in the clients in one side, and test on both sides, when you're able. Uh, a few years ago, um, I had a demo server on the trunk online. The problem is that uh, um, Triton team complained because it was 60% uh, of the uh, bandwidth of the server. <laughs> because every day, I had a complete um, clone. Uh, so. <laughs> so I stopped that. <laughs> okay, so maybe, may, maybe if it's of some help, we have also to understand that uh, pushing uh, trunks um, on demo servers can, can be quite expensive in, um, 
uh, on the server load. I, I didn't understand why, in fact, it was so heavy, but <laughs> it, it was a, a complaint. Oh, but uh, just because you clone it, the whole development, each, each day. <laughs> but if you keep it a cache, if you pull uh, or something, it's less. Uh, <laughs> the but I, I'd like the to add that the integration server does, does that. He has a cache locally, and so he pull only the changes. Uh, but I'd like to add that testing a change in trunk after it has been committed, it's a bit too late, <laughs> somewhere. Yes. <laughs> but I, I understand what you mean. It's testing the feature. But, but uh, Nico, if you don't have the, the trunk version working, you cannot push code reviews normally. Because it might apply on all the versions, but it might not. <coughs> so it's the first step is to move to trunk. And the second step is to test code reviews. So we, we could have uh, a trunk, a demo server, which applies the patch. So for each patch, we have a, a run <laughs> server that you can test. Yeah. Uh, any other questions? No? So uh, thank you, Sergi.